Let us learn today about the files and I.O. that is input and output in Java. How do you receive the input and how do you save the output? So Java here is nothing but where the data is being stored in form of streams. And what are these streams? The streams may be a program, a file, a disk, a directory, anything. So you need to save the data somewhere and you need to pull out the information from somewhere. Then these streams may be helpful to use to store the information such as the character type, byte type, primitive type or objects type. And what happens is that a java.io package provides a certain operations to perform on these kind of data. And what operations do we perform? Those are nothing but input and output operations where input stream is used to read the data from the file and output stream is used to write the data to the file. What happens in this example we can see you have a program this program pulls in the data from the source file and how does this program get the data from source file with the help of input stream and then the program writes the data to the destination file with the help of output stream this data may be of any kind for an example you want to write some textual data example welcome to tutorials point so you have a file here created where a file name is some .txt file and it has certain data called welcome to tutorials point and this is your program so you would write in your program using a input stream class to pull the data from your source file and then you would use the outstream class to write the data to your destination that is you are pulling the data from one file and then storing the data into another file. In the going forward chapters and videos we shall also see how you can create a file with the help of a program or how you can create the number of directories or go through number of directories how you can store a number of data which may be of a byte format or a character format and what are the classes or subclasses of this input and output stream.